moaning. It's been a bit weird, this. This bit's always a bit weird. <laughs> Waiting for people to come online. Or hoping people come online. Then a number appears and you're like, oh good, thank goodness for that. I hope you are well this morning. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning, Jim. Hope everyone is well this Thursday morning. Sorry, I had to think then <laughs> what day of the week we were on. It's Thursday. We're on Thursday. It's all good. It's all good. So, oh, good morning, Judith. Marvellous. Anyone else who hasn't been on before or wants to say hello? I do do, do my best to see the comments. I do. Um, also, you can give a thumbs up or a heart just to let me know you're there. Good morning, Lynn. I'll just give it a few more minutes, let people join. Morning, Michelle. Anyone who's new or hasn't done these sessions before, it's all about... All in all, it's about 40 minutes with a warm up and a cool down and stretch. And the main section is 20 minutes. As always, just a reminder, please make sure you've got a nice space, clear space to work out in. You're not gonna fall over anything. A window open, which I keep forgetting to do now. It's a bit chillier in the mornings, but once you start moving, it is, it is necessary. And some water uh, in nearby, nearby. Oh good, I'm glad you're ready, Michelle. I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm ready. <laughs> I'm so tired. I blame tr trying to educate my children. So I'm blaming it on. But no, it's a good one. I'm sure we'll all feel better afterwards. So uh, just a quick run through today's a body weight circuit. Um we've got five exercises. We'll spend 50 seconds on each exercise and then we have 10 seconds rest or transition time and we'll go around the circuit four times. But first we will start off with the warm-up. Morning, Philip. So let's just start by warming up. Just have my timer because I had a PT client before this. And let's go. So it's a slightly different time on my timer there. Good morning, Heather. Stepping from side to side, just bringing the arms across the body. Alternate which one goes over the top each time. So this is just warming up the joints and the muscles, preparing them for the workout ahead. Keep going. Oh, I'm not liking the grey weather. Can the sunny weather come back, please? And bring the arms above. Mind any low light fittings. So, yeah, bring, <laughs> bring back the sunshine. Where's it gone? <laughs> it's because he said people can go out of their houses. It's gone new. I will make it rain. <laughs> Keep going. A few more seconds. Almost there. And we're going to stand shoulder, feet shoulder width apart. Bring your hands out in front of you. Shoulder height, drop your shoulders and open up the chest. With one pair. When you've sat at a desk a lot, you sat down a lot, helping improve the posture. Especially to those where people work at home, they're not probably at proper desks <laughs> and proper ergonomic chairs. Their household was sat at the dining table. It's probably not, not the best workplace, but it's, it's what we've got. So next we keep our feet shoulder width or wider. Keep your legs straight, you're going to twist, you're going to walk down the outside of the leg as far down as you can go. If you can touch the floor, great, without bending your legs. If not, just walk across in the air, keeping the legs straight and come up the other side. So it should feel a nice stretch all down the back of the legs. Come back up, keep breathing. Don't forget lots of deep breaths. Back to Uh, last one, come up, face to the front, into a gentle jog. If you have any uh, injuries or you know dodgy knees, dodgy ankles, you can always take this one to a march. 
please, please do work to your own level of fitness. I cannot see you, so I cannot tell if your form is good or not. So please take it as your own level. If you really, really are just getting into fitness, it's probably worth speaking to your um, GP or your doctor beforehand, just to double check. I'm sure they'd do a phone call, you'd hope. And, <laughs> and let that relax. We're gonna go into hip openers. So bring your leg up and out to side and back in. And up and out and back in. Very good. This is the one where I remember to say, if you hear clicking and popping and cracking in your joints as you do these movements, don't worry, it is normal. Unless it's painful. If it is painful, please stop. But as long as it doesn't hurt and it's just noisy, it's fine. I know mine click and let that relax. And next our heel flick, so put your hands behind on your own bottom and flick your heels up. Again, if you've got issues with joints or you're recovering from an injury, then you can always take this one to a march as well. Just keep the body moving, raising up the heart rate, waking up the joints, landing softly. A few more seconds. there and let that relax feet uh, hip width apart stepping out into a lunge drop that back knee down rotate over the bent leg in front and push back switch sides push back try and keep the hip width gap as you step out that will help keep the balance keep going more seconds that's the last one next is a squat so feet shoulder width toes slightly turned out flick your bum backwards sit back into a nice squat and reach up back into a squat and reach up squats don't have to be deep just to where your body naturally goes and as you get warmed up you'll find you'll be able to squat lower first thing in the morning everything's a little bit Stiff and a bit more awkward as we start moving and we get more fluid in our joints. I know your fluid will be a bit smoother. Keep going. And finally, 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Again, mind any light fittings. And again, any joint issues, then just take this to a stepped jack. Any shoulder problems, just bring the arms lower cross them in front of you. A few more seconds. And I'm going to set there. So, as a reminder again, today's a body weight circuit workout. We've got five exercises. We'll do each exercise for 50 seconds. And there's a 10 second rest slash transition. And we'll go around the whole circuit four times. So it's 20 minutes in total. So the first exercise is a V to W row. So feet shoulder width, uh, flick your hips back a little bit. So you're gonna bend, bend from the hips. So you're gonna bring your arms out here in a V and bring them back into a W. So V to W. Row, so really a resist against your seat, against yourself, and bring your shoulder blades together as you pull back and push forward. Come back, so that's the first one. Our next exercise is a side to side squat. So step to the side, come down in your squat, and then step to the other side. So you can do a little jump, or you can just literally just step and squat. Then we are down for a high plank shoulder tap. So into a high plank position, you want your wrists in line with your shoulders, so you're nice and far for like far forward. Bring your bum down and just tap to your shoulders. You can always come from the knees. Again, you want a nice straight line from your neck to your knees and do the tap. Or if you just want to hold the high plank while your body gets used to it, that is also an option. 
Finally, oh, not finally, second to last, we have heel touches. So you want your feet out in front of you. The further away you are, the more you're gonna use your core muscles. So from side to side, you might like to put a mat or a towel down. So if you've got carpet like me, you don't get carpet burn. It's in your 10 seconds, you can put a, put a covering down. And then the final one, fast feet for a count of three in your head. So one, two, three, and you're gonna swivel like you're on a surfboard and come back, one, two, three, swivel. So what you're trying to do is keep your chest facing forward. So one, two, three, and swivel your hips. So it's all from the hips. But just see how you get on. If you have any music, now's the time to put it on. And we're gonna start with the V to W row. So get ready, first 50 seconds. And off we go, so arms up and bring them back. So engage your core, so pull your belly button to your spine. Keep your back nice and straight, but bend forward from the hips. Come up and row back, up and row back. If I turn around, you come up and you row back. Come up, row back. If you do have a resistance band, you could always hold on to that. Or you've got dumbbells, you can always use them. I won't go too heavy. Come back, forward, and back. Ten seconds until A few more seconds. Keep going. Keep going. Almost there. And rest for ten. Just turn the volume up. So next one is the side to side squat. See, it's upper body, lower body, core, two core ones, and then cardio. So from the side, you can step to the other side. Squat, so keeping the chest up, knees follow toes, into the bum, back into the heels. So most of your weight is distributed. You want it distributed evenly, but you should be able to wiggle your toes when you're down in your squat. Halfway there. Side, to side come down, over to the other side. Squat down, one side, and squat. Keep going. Keep breathing. Ten seconds until rest. Keep going. Rest and for rest. Ten seconds. So, next ten one is our plank shoulder tap. But of course, you can go from your knees, or you can just hold the plank. And Work off we go. Seconds. So, try and keep your body as stationary as possible. Nice and strong. Try not twist too much. Easier said than done, I know. Pull your belly button in, keep your bum down, keep your shoulders over your wrists. So many, so many things to think about. Keep going. Over halfway. Ten seconds until rest. Well done. Rest for ten seconds. And rest. Ten seconds until work. If you want the mat down or something, just put behind your back. Come down, nice flat back work to the floor. For 50 seconds. And reach for your heels. So your smaller your back is pushed into the floor. Reach from side to side. And reach your heels. The further your feet are away, you have them closer, it'd be easier. So, and keep going. Halfway there. Keep going, a few more seconds. 10 seconds until rest. Three, two, one. Up you come, if you can come seconds. up without holding on. 10 seconds until work. That's even better. Then we're into the shuffle and hip swivels. So off we go. Work so one, two, seconds. three, swivel. Come back. And swivel the other way. 
All on our surfboards, obviously. <laughs> I have no clue. One, two, three. Keep going. Keep going, keep smiling. Halfway there. Don't stop now. Rest and there you can rest. That's one round done. So now we're back to the VW row. Doing well. V to W, not the VW. And off we go. Bring it back and up. Back and up. Nice strong core. Go in. Halfway there. Squeeze against yourself. Almost ten seconds left, that's all. Ten seconds until next. Keep going. Rest for Our rest, so side to side squat ten mix. Seconds until work. Get ready. Keep core engaged, Work step to the side, seconds. down into your squat, and up and to the other side. Down and hop, squat. So keeping that chest up. So you're aiming for the same angle and your chest is in your shins. That's the aim. It's always worth getting someone to take a photo of you on the side than doing your I'll squat because we all <laughs> we all think we're doing things differently in our heads to what we're actually doing and it is quite useful to see and then you know what parts of you need to move back or forward or if you're doing it right until rest. or if you get to what's called a butt wink which is where your pelvis just tilts underneath you when it's not quite at the point where it should be rest and rest seconds. next is plank shoulder tap up. Down to the floor. Whew. Get ready. Work for Out a nice high plank. And tap to the shoulders if you can. Nice and controlled. Keep breathing. Keep going. There. Almost there. Keep that core strong, keep that bum down. So easy to want to lift it up. Seconds until rest. Keep that belly button pulled in. Rest for and rest. Seconds. Grab seconds until work. your mat or towel. Need, don't need carpet burn. So back nice and flat to the floor. For Reach for your heels. There's always one, I always think this one's going to be nice. And it's freakishly no, nasty. Nice and controlled. Using the obliques to help pull you down. Shoulder blades lifted from the floor. Engaging the core muscles. Halfway there. Keep going. Keep breathing. That's Ten seconds keep going. until rest. Almost. Rest for 10 seconds. And rest up. Ten seconds oh, I put my hand down. Naughty dreading. I will try and remember not to do that next time. So into our shuffle Work and hip swivel. So one, two, three, and swivel. Swivel back. One, two, three. Try and keep that chest facing forward. 
Just swivel from the hips. Keep going. Keep breathing. If you do have knee or joint problems, just march on the spot, or if you prefer gentle jog, it's up to you. Make this workout work for you. Challenge yourself, obviously, to help you get fitter, but don't injure yourself. Keep going. 10 seconds until rest. Keep going. Almost there. And rest. rest. Ten seconds. Halfway through. Ten seconds Two rounds to go. Doing brilliantly, guys. So get ready for our V to W row. Engage the core. Arms up. Bring it back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Keep there. going. Keep smiling. Keep squeezing those shoulder blades together. Until rest. Almost there. And we're into our side to side squat. Rest and rest. Ten seconds. Ten seconds so side to work. side squat. Uh, nice deep breaths, get ready, take it to the side, Work and off we go, seconds. squat down, and over to the other side, squat down, keep that chest up, so pick a point on the horizon to look at to make you, to keep your chest up, not look down at the floor, nice flat back, all in the legs, utilising the thighs and the glutes, our biggest muscle group, there. Nice big muscle group, make that nice and strong. It's definitely gonna help. Gonna be burning more calories just, just sitting still. If you've got strong leg muscles, or any muscles. 10 seconds until rest. Keep going. Rest for 10 seconds. Rest. So next is our plank, shoulder tap. Down, get ready, Work into a nice high plank, seconds. keep your body nice and strong, engage the core, keep the bum down. Wrists or palms in line with your shoulders. If you need to come down to your knees, absolutely fine. Keep going. Halfway there. Keep breathing, nice deep breaths. If you need to take a rest, please do. Just try and get back into it as soon as you can. 10 seconds Last until few seconds. Rest for and 10 rest. seconds. 10 seconds until work. Come down. Oh, nice flat back to the floor. For 50 seconds. Reach for your heels. Does not have to be a quick movement. Just nice and controlled. Utilising those core muscles to bring you from side to side. Working your obliques. Keeping it all strong. Way there. Keep going. So Ten distant. seconds until rest. Last few seconds. And rest, rest that one. Let's see seconds. if we can get up without using my hands this time. Work. And we're into the shuffles and hip swivel. Get ready. Off we go. And swivel, swivel. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Swivel, swivel. 
My hair's getting long. On top. Keep going. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Swivel, swivel. Try and keep that chest forward. Good for the coordination. Keep going. Ten seconds until rest. Almost there. Rest for ten seconds. And rest into the last ten round, guys. Almost done. Go so quickly once we're started. Get ready. And off seconds. we go. Arms up. Bring them back. Really squeeze. Keep that belly button pulled in. Towards your spine. But keep breathing. Nice squeeze. Squeeze. Good. Way there. Keep going. Ten seconds Two until more seconds. Keep squeezing. And rest. Side to side plank. Plank. <laughs> Side to side squat. I know I'm talking about. It's just early. Oh dear. And off we go. So squat and shuffle. Squat and shuffle. Keep going. That's it. Keep going. Keep breathing. Keep that chest up. now almost done think of how much we're strengthening our bodies how good this is for us i mean i know i've noticed an improvement in my own fitness Ten doing this consistently with you guys so thank you for that hope you guys have noticed improvements in your own abilities rest rest. now we're Ten doing the plank and your own stamina Come up, nice high plank. Get ready. Off we go, last one. Nice and controlled. Doesn't have to be rushed. Keep your bum down. Keep your belly button pulled in. Keep breathing. I'm very demanding. Halfway there. Nice and controlled. Almost there. Ten seconds until rest. Killer this one. Nice and strong. Five seconds. Rest for ten seconds. And rest. Ten seconds until work. Ah. Come down. Get ready. Work for fifty seconds. And reach for the heels. Nice flat back to the floor, shoulder, li <laughs> shoulder blades lifted up, heels further away, equals more of a bend. Keep breathing, keep going, you're doing so well. Halfway there. Keep going. More seconds. Just ten, ten seconds, seconds until rest. Last shoot. Rest for ten seconds. Up. Ten and seconds your hands. until rest. You want to get an extra bit of muscle building. I'm going to our last shuffle. Hip rest swivel. One, two, three, and twist. Twist. I have to look down because the way the video is, 
my image does opposite. And when I jump, it really throws me. So keep going. See, I thought about it too much. Keep going. Oh my goodness, swivel. swivel. One, two, three, swivel. swivel. One, two, three. Lesson there is don't overthink things. Few more seconds, keep going. Seconds until rest. Keep going. Rest and rest there. Ten seconds. Yeah, my coordination went out the window there. I'm putting it down to the fact I've run out of my normal porridge, so I've been doing everything else the same. But I've been having it with other cereal. It's not as good. So, walk it off. Don't stop too suddenly. Let your heart rate come down and your breathing come down. And then get your mat or your towel ready. And we'll do some stretches. So come down. So the reason we slow down is just because your heart's pumping the blood out really quickly. You're not moving as fast. So it's not coming back up as quickly and it pulls in your legs. Blood pooling and we get lightheaded. <laughs> Thanks, you did. You like that one then? So come down and bring your knees into your chest and we'll rotate in one direction and then the other. Keep breathing. So it is Thursday, therefore I do have a second session at half twelve if you wish to join me. Same timings but different exercises. Again, another body weight, full body workout. So, goes to show, really does go to show, you do not need expensive equipment. You don't need a huge amount of space. Don't even need a gym. If you don't like gyms, then you can work out at home. Drop one leg and raise the other leg into the air. Stretching out the back of the thigh, bring the leg towards you. Uh, my, my fitness journey started out with home workouts as well, so it's all good. Pull the leg towards you, keep stretching, you can always move your ankle oh, to find where you can find a bit more of a stretch. Don't worry if your leg's not too straight, you might have tight hamstrings, it's absolutely fine. So just get your leg as straight as you can, and where you can feel the stretch. Let that relax, and switch sides. So um, if you do have a yoga strap or a, a resistance band or a towel, you can put that around the top of your foot and pull it towards you. So before you can always ask a member of the family just to gently help push your leg back. But also, you know, always warned, make sure you haven't had an argument or annoyed them in any way. <laughs> Keep breathing. If you've got to stretch ease off, just let your leg go and then bring it back a little bit further. A few more seconds. There we go. Let that relax, you guys stay there. I'm just going to twist around a little bit so hopefully you can see more clearly. Bring one ankle onto the opposite knee, reach through your lap, grab your thigh, and pull it towards you. So this will stretch out your glute. So for me, this is my left leg bent in front, so it's my left glute that's being stretched. If you want to get a bit of a deeper stretch, you can always push your knee away while pulling on the opposite thigh, or if you've got long enough arms, you can always put your elbow in there. Instead, so both your hands are still round your thigh. Pull it towards you, keep breathing. A few more seconds. And let that relax. Switch sides, bring your other ankle onto your other knee. I don't know why it does that sometimes. There we go. And pull that towards you. You may find that you're not quite as flexible the other way, that's quite normal. Or your glute is tighter or whichever side, it could be whatever stretch. And like for me, it's my right glute is tighter. Nice deep breaths. Get the oxygen back into your body, <laughs> to the muscles that need it to help them start repairing. And let that relax, slowly roll over onto your side and then come round onto all fours, so knees, in line with hips, wrists in line with shoulders into a tabletop position. 
as you drop your back down and bring your head up, breathe in, and then as you switch round, so bring your shoulders up and your head down, breathe out. And keeping your arms and legs still and straight, and letting your back and head do, do the movement. Cat to cow. Do this one at your own pace. So from there, bring your big toes together, sit back onto your heels, and then you can, what you're gonna do is walk your body forward. Try and keep your heels on, your bum on your heels and drop your forehead to the floor. And you're gonna stretch out the upper back and shoulders in the child pose. more seconds. And let that relax, come back into that tabletop position. Bring your feet underneath you, roll up into a standing position. We're gonna come and stretch. Oh, it's like, a fr it's like a Friday session, that's quite funny. Sorry, my vacuum cleaner's in the way. Just bring that back there a little bit more so you can actually see what I'm doing. So, bring the ball of your foot to the wall and then push up on that back foot keeping the front leg straight everything's facing forward you should get a nice stretch in the back of the calf and if you want to you can move your ankle from side to side and keep breathing nice calf stretch and switch sides and push up. It's a good one, this one. Really feel it in the calf. You can feel it in the point where the Achilles it's, it attaches to the calf muscle. So keep stretching, a few more seconds. Or literally three seconds and come back over we're gonna stretch the front of the thigh so quad stretch so bring your foot up to your glute knees in line push your hips forward and push your foot into your hand if you need to hold on you can it's not a necessity doesn't matter either way Stretching it through. Keep going, a few seconds. And switch sides. So knees in line, hips push forward. Push your foot into your hand, keep breathing. Almost there. No worries, Jim. Hope you enjoyed it. I think it was a good one today. And for those that you want to, I'm back again at 12.30 today with another one like that, but uh, different exercises. Come up into a nice full body stretch. Lean to one side, stretching down the obliques, which we'll need after all those hip, uh, heel touches. And again, one more time. Come up, drop one arm between shoulder blades, chin off the chest, and head up. Stretching it through. Keep breathing. So this is stretching out your triceps. You can always Sway from side to side. Almost there, just a couple more stretches. And switch sides. Keep 
nice deep breaths so yeah if you have any any sweaty workout selfies that you want to share with me or you can share them to your stories on your instagram tag me in at become fit for life do give me a follow on instagram or you can follow me on joggle mum as well um or if you tag them on here as long as you don't mind me sharing them to my feed or my stories that would be marvelous it's always good for other people to see you know what they're missing out on <laughs> and then they relax bring one arm across the body stretch it across so stretching out the shoulder you can always give the wrist a little stretch at the same time so hold above or below the elbow Keep breathing hopefully you're breathing and your heart rate feels more normal again now a few more seconds you can get on with your day feeling proud of yourselves feeling good started the day off right and switch sides I've now got to go and argue with my printer to go and print all the stuff off of my kids <laughs> learning today oh dear and I'm good with tech but that printer is appalling always has been just want a nice cheapy one that you go print and it prints. Keep going, last few seconds. Or if you don't join in the afternoon ones, just to think in Tuesdays and Thursdays, you can always use them at the weekend if you wanted to. Though it is very important to rest as well. So, just roll your shoulders back and forward. <sighs> ah, yes, you'll feel it in the side abs, yeah, in your obliques. Definitely. No worries at all, Lynn, and no worries at all, Michelle. Yes, hopefully see you at 12.30. Have a lovely day, guys. Thank you for joining me this morning. I really, really, really do appreciate it. And I will catch, with, uh, blah, 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 catch up with you later, hopefully either at the 12.30 today or 8am tomorrow morning. Bye, guys.